All right, brother, you there? Yep. What's up, man? Crazy. Okay. You're low. Turn you up. All right. I need this for this mic. That's fine. I can turn you up, man. Um. Oh, that's... oh, 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 oh. Uh, uh, turn down. Please. Okay. I turned it down. Uh, I. Oh, that's much better. I, I, I forgot to turn back the knob right. of my external. What is it? Sound card. Yeah, got you, got you. Okay, cool, man. Well, all right. Well, what's up, emo? Uh, we are here chilling with you. Uh, you have some exciting news to share with me. So you decided to come on to my little podcast and talk about it, man. So for anybody out there that has never heard of you. Or is just now learning about you? Would you introduce yourself to anybody out there that's listening? Uh, <laughs> well, uh, I'm uh, emo. Uh, I usually don't say the numbers at the end of my name. That's just my birthday, twenty <laughs> uh, sixth of February. Oh, okay. Uh, I was Discord. born and uh, I was raised in Hungary in a small village not too far from the capital city. Okay. Uh, I was born in a half musician uh, family. My father used to play the saxophone in uh, wedding music. And uh, uh, when I started uh, school uh, I had to learn the recorder uh -huh. uh, the the music teacher thought that uh, I had a great voice or or something oh, like that's that. nice yeah <laughs> so I was learning the recorder for four years since then I hid the sound of it <laughs> uh, my sister did the same and uh, later my elder brother picked up a uh, bass guitar so basically there are a lot of instruments in this house so you just and, uh, <laughs> naturally kind of started doing it you know because uh, it was kind of, kind of part of your thing how long have you been uh, creating music uh, uh before that i want to tell a little backstory oh okay okay go ahead yes please uh, the first time i started to compose on paper basically i was writing sheet music uh that was around my fifth uh, grade if i can remember correctly that was like 11 years ago all right uh there was a cartoon, I don't remember the name of it, but uh, at the end of the theme song, there was a horn playing a short melody. That was the first burst for me to start composing. Oh, okay. That's neat. Oh. <laughs> Ex excuse me. It's all right. So later, uh, my music taste developed a lot. I got into hard rock, later progressive metal, uh, power metal, etc., etc., uh -huh. until twelfth uh, grade, the end of secondary school. I uh, started to listen to uh, metalcore. And uh, that was the final burst to start actually writing music. And then you uh, just kind of kept going from there? Uh, basically. And yeah. uh, in like three or four months, I've uh, written uh, several lyrics for an album. Yeah. Uh, I've uh, written uh, music for it. Uh, back then, I used Guitar Pro. Uh huh. That's a sheet uh, editor, basically. 
but uh-huh. can uh, export to MP3 audio format as well. Okay, so when did you drop your first like official release? Like uh, uh, my first uh, yeah. official release was back in 2017. 2017. What was it called? If I if I remember, uh, that was my first uh, electronic music uh, called uh, Lazy Traveling. Uh, before oh. that, uh, my uh, brother-in-law showed me FS Studio. Uh, and uh, if you listen to my first released album called uh, Electric Fusion of Metal, uh-huh. you can uh, you can hear that uh, I'm uh, continuously learning the FL Studio how to use it, and uh, I had a lot of experiencing with all of the synth and. Yeah. Uh, Sounds, etc. Uh, Maybe you can guys can hear it. Um, Keep going, Emo. I'm listening. <laughs> I'm just setting some stuff up, man. Uh, after I gained a little bit of experience, I've tried to push my comfort zone even harder to get out from it, to make it even more wide. Yeah. So I've experienced with a lot more melody uh, melodies. Maybe I can do it over here. Uh, and uh, later I've uh, got into a little bit of sound design, but I had no idea what I'm doing. I've just messed with the knobs and sliders, and if it sounded good, I left there and used that synth. <laughs> yeah. To make stuff. So, okay, what would you say is, like, your process of approaching a song? Like, what what is your creative process when you're like, I want to make a new track, and and you have a blank slate, a blank pl- project, and you're like, all right, I want to make something new. Like, what goes to your head, and how do you approach it? Uh, back then, uh, I was just having fun with FS Studio. Nothing crazy. Uh... Of course, I wanted to focus on uh, to keep harmonies and uh, keep in scale, in key, everything. Uh, but uh, there was no true uh, I can't find the word. <laughs> uh, like no real way to... Uh, there were no true reason why I'm, why I'm composing that. Mm-hmm song i was just having fun so do you still have fun with it or are you just taking it serious more serious now uh well i'm still having fun yeah good and, uh, that's one of my biggest inspiration to yeah you should have fun composing <laughs> absolutely and, uh, if i feel tired i don't even touch any of those so yeah. So you got to be like awake in a right <laughs> state of mind. You can't be like super fatigued to uh, exactly. uh, approach it. How long does it usually take you to make a track? Uh, it depends. It yeah. really depends. Sometimes I get carried away and uh, a seven minute song takes like 16 hours. <laughs> Story about life, dude. Like, man, <laughs> it's funny how our tracks are always like short, you know, like five minutes average. And then you... You you, know, you go back to like your project time you spent and you're like oh my gosh I spent so much time on just five exactly, minutes exactly. like just five minutes so it's so funny like this this person wants me to make an intro and it's like how long do you want it he's like uh, thirty seconds to a minute he's like have you written it yet like nah man thirty seconds to a minute it's still gonna take me <laughs> takes me like an hour an hour or two hours just to make it you know so I'm not I'm not a uh, you know, I'm not no stranger to how long it takes, man. And in fact, that's the coolest part about it to me, because really what we're doing as musicians is we're basically slowing down a time for them. You know, like we're slowing them down mm-hmm. to make them really listen to five minutes of life or sound or something, you know, and uh, that's awesome, dude. So you have a new album dropping 
on the uh, 2nd of July, right? Uh, 1st of July. 1st of July. Okay, okay. Do you uh, want to talk yes. a little bit about uh, that? Or you still have yes, some more? Uh, okay. Well, uh, I could say that uh, my second album was uh, experiencing two, but uh, with uh, more ideas. Mm -hmm. But uh, I can talk about that uh, after I've uh, talked uh, about the current releasing <laughs> album. Yeah, go ahead. So my new album is called Beast. Uh, uh, I will get to there why I named this album Beast when I should get there. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, why'd so, you name it Beast? Let's start with that. <laughs> what was the name of it? Uh, or, like, what did you name it? Beast. The backstory of this uh, is that uh, FS Studio has a stock plugin called Morphine. Yeah. And it has a really cool uh, factory preset called Pitch Shifter. Mm hmm and it's basically a short dubstep loop. Yeah. And uh, this uh, little preset uh, inspired me to get into uh, dubstep. I was already using dubstep elements, uh, wobbly basses, uh, growl-ish sounds, but I've uh, never uh, got into dubstep really far so this... and uh, I wanted to play with it get uh, experience with dubstep so based on that uh, factory preset I've started composing try to I uh, try to mimic those sounds and uh, rhythms and uh, later I wanted to make more, and uh, that was the time I got into sound design. So this album really was like deep. an expression of your sound design, more expression of the sound uh, design? Basically. Yeah. Okay. Well, nice. That's cool. So... <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, I've uh, found a really cool uh, VST called uh, Vital. Uh-huh. Uh, it's similar to Serum, but it's completely free. And uh, it can so, do a lot of crazy things. <laughs> it's like a wavetable synthesizer with some extra uh, yes. stuff as well. Yeah. Yes, pretty much. Okay, I see. And that kind of started... And, uh, so is that the main VST you used for your album, or is it just like... Yes, I oh, okay. use it a lot. And it's free? Exactly. Oh, okay. Well, we're going we to need that uh, link, man. I bet there's somebody out there that's going to want to use that as well, <laughs> especially if they hear your album and hear, like, all the stuff you did up with it. Uh, I bet you... So, so how long have you been in this sound design, uh, right, you know, where you've been sound designing more and wanting... After hearing that, it made you want to start sound designing more. So, like, are, is this something uh, that you're going to just keep going deeper into and and see how deep of uh, sounds you can create or, you know, what do you think? Is this just something to kind of mm. like, so you're good at it, so you kind of understand the fundamentals of it and you're like, oh, okay, I know how sound design works. Now I'm going to go work on harmony structures and stuff. I don't know, you know. Like, is this uh, just a step or is it like a focus? Uh, again, I was having fun. <laughs> hey, that's, that's I, I, perfect, bro. I wanted to make my own dubstep growls. Yeah, yeah. So basically, these growls gave me the idea to call the album Beast. Okay. Because Beast so growls. Yeah. I, I wanted to mimic the sound of a giant beast roaring into your face or something like that. Yeah. All right. I'm already scared now. And, uh, <laughs> I'm going to have it on low when I listen to it. <laughs> you should not be scared. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> but if it's so, a beast, you know, uh, I mean, I'm playing. Go ahead. <laughs> so I uh, looked up for several tutorials, like how to do dubstep growls or yes. how to make dubstep. And... Mm -hmm. uh, 
uh, I somewhat followed those uh, tutorials, and that oh, was okay. my first growl I made. And uh, in the first four tracks, the first four songs, I used that growl. Oh, okay. After that, I've, I've uh, started uh, to have fun with Vital a lot more. Messed with, again, I messed with knobs, the sliders, and that's what we do, connected man. macros to everything. Yeah, and that's what we do. LFOs and <laughs> <laughs> envelopes. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I knew what does what. Not yeah. like yeah. four years ago where I had no clue. No, dude, that's it's a different so, feeling. Yeah. <laughs> yes. You're a lot more like so, prepared. <laughs> basically. Uh, so when I saw Unison, I knew what that does. Mm -hmm. And when I saw filter or delay, mm -hmm. or right, delay is easy stuff, but compressor, I didn't know what compressor is until yeah. my third album was released. Yeah, yeah, that's interesting. Because <laughs> I'm the same, man. I didn't really understand compression for a long time and then even when i understood it i was like uh i don't even care to use it you know i really didn't even care to use it because i was just like i don't feel like you need it and now now i completely understand it and now i use it all the time but it's still like i still kind of have that way with compression where i really don't try to pull it out unless i just really feel like it needs it like the dynamics too crazy or you know like the bass or something where it's you can have phases and issues and stuff going everywhere, so compression can kind of level all that out. But, I mean, yeah, yeah it's crazy that it's your third album, so you still created two albums um, well, before basically... compression, you know? <laughs> That's cool. Basically, I haven't... Uh, I didn't know that I used compression when I did my third album. That right. was an EP... Uh... There's a stock plugin in FS Studio called Sungood is there. Yeah. Every FS Studio user knows this plugin. <laughs> yeah. And uh, there are a lot of memes, memes about it. <laughs> <laughs> but it's for, good. For lazy people or uh, people with not enough knowledge, mm -hmm. that's a perfect plugin, I would say. So. In my upcoming album, I I used Sun Goodizer 2 in the first few uh, songs, but then I really looked into what compression does and why should I use it. Yes. So that was the moment. Ah, I need mm -hmm. to remaster my first album. <laughs> <laughs> or not? And, you know, uh, sometimes you're your mistakes and your compression decisions all those decisions still kind of made the track what it was you know yes uh, and uh, the remastered album sounds a lot different even though i use the same synth sounds mm -hmm. i i removed the delay chorus and reverb effects from the vsts yeah so i can mess with that in the mixing a lot phase. more efficiently and uh, sh it should have its uh, place in the mixing part okay well good so you've really improved a lot of your like production style your production skills with this third album so this is not only like a i can new say that yeah <laughs> presentation of music but this is also a new presentation of like what you've learned and how you've applied what you've learned exactly with, yeah. exactly that's cool how many tracks are on your album uh, on the new one, uh, there will be 10 in total. Ten? Where is it going to be ten available at? Tracks. Uh, it's going to be available on YouTube, okay. on Spot Spotify, iTunes, and tons of uh, streaming platforms as well. Right. SoundCloud? It, uh, <laughs> not yet. <laughs> Why not? Bandcamp? You can monetize uh, SoundCloud, man. Bandcamp? You know, uh, um, your website I, uh, too, yeah. <laughs> I haven't got into 
SoundCloud, SoundCloud and uh, Bandcamp. Oh, yet. okay. Well, you should, man. You should. You should definitely but, uh, post your stuff. <laughs> definitely on SoundCloud for sure. It's a. It's a very. You know, it's a very big place, and uh, the style of music you make is uh it, it would work you know like i put my stuff on there everybody puts their stuff on there it's no it's not a elite organization you know like this is I, that is the place to plans. share <laughs> i have plans on using that too good good i'm glad and uh i look forward to your release man so uh do you have any like uh music videos or any kind of promotional content you got showing mm, or previewing for this album music coming video. up I have a time lapse video of the making of the album cover. Okay. And that's just crazy how it looks. <laughs> and uh, that will be available on the 2nd of July. It's okay. going to be on YouTube. Okay. Good. Good. Well, and, uh, great. I can't wait. I just can't wait all the reactions. <laughs> yeah man i can't wait too I, I see you have uh your discord as well where you post a lot of your announcements so um i mean this is a great place for you out there that are listening to keep track of what emo is doing with his releases and what he's going on he does post uh, news and updates in his discord server so uh you know it's it's a great way to keep track of what's going on also you have a website which is amazing man like you just having a website itself is wonderful and a step ahead of, of so many people because uh having just a place that's kind of like your own to put all your stuff is uh pretty much necessary even even if you're releasing stuff on like other platforms because at the end of the day you're giving your music to that platform to like feature your music you know so that's why you get paid because they're paying you to feature your music on their platform you still need to have your music in one space where the listeners themselves can come and yes, uh, listen yes. to your music and or buy and, it or purchase uh, it. So that's why Bandcamp is good. Your website is good. Uh, uh, emailing them out and stuff is great. So uh, thanks, thank you for that, man. Uh, and uh, what's this coming? is the reason? Yeah, what's <laughs> this the is the reason I've uh, made a separate separate uh, page on my website for my discography. Uh huh. So all of my tracks and songs and covers are there yeah with youtube yeah. links download links good good you can listen to these songs in you individually in the browser yeah you can check the release date as well yeah yeah good stuff man like you're Only making it place. easy for the listener to come and find your stuff if they like your music you want it so the listener can come to like your website or somewhere that's kind of centralized and they can go oh he has more music I'm gonna go ahead and listen to it here. I'm gonna listen to it there, and then uh, you know, then they you get a fan for life that way for sure. Like a lot of people, if they like more than one, they're gonna keep following you. I hope so. <laughs> uh, but also, this is why like things like Bandcamp or Sound or any of these like social platforms where you post your music, it still matters, you know, because that's another community of people out there that are just as supportive and just as awesome and want to listen to your music. So uh, you know, the fact that you're Putting it on a website first is great, but keep it going. Uh, keep putting it on YouTube. Put it on all your social platforms that you're active on. Uh, don't you know? Don't feel ashamed of posting too much about your album and your music. You know, that's a everybody kind of feels a little self conscious at the end of it all because they're like, oh, I've made the music and I've done everything. Now I just need to start letting it kind of speak for itself. But this is the time when you kind of go even harder yeah. with promoting it out there, go even harder with letting people know, hey, I've got something coming up. Because if you're not excited about it, how do you think the world is going to be excited about it? You know, you have to be the excitement exactly. factor. So this good, man. I'm excited already. Uh, I know you've worked hard on this album. So uh, I am looking forward to it. Again, it drops on the 1st of July. And he already has a pre-save link where you can pre-save the album on Spotify. Uh, right now so we will drop that in the description for you make sure you check it out make sure you guys check out emo uh, 0226 but you don't have to use the numbers just emo works check them out uh, emo <clears throat> go ahead and tell shout out anything you like to shout out tell people a way to follow and connect with you and uh, let and tell us anything else you got maybe coming out or anything special you may want to leak out to the 
to the audience, you know? Something, some well, special <laughs> nugget. Well, on uh, Twitch, I've already started working on a new album. Yeah? It, it will be named uh, Relax Traveling. I'm looking into a lot more calmer vibes. Okay. So, Chilling with the breeze, man. You already calmed <laughs> down. <laughs> uh, until now, I've made a metal electro, my kind of my own style. Yeah, a lot, lot of genres mixed together. Like, it has some techno in it. It has some house in it. It has some dubstep in it. It has some uh, uh, symphonic vibe as well. Yeah. All together mixed with uh, metal core drum beats. <laughs> That's <laughs> nice, I man. I like it. I love the jumpy rhythm of metal core. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. You vibe with and, it. Uh, I respect that for sure. <laughs> like, that's awesome. You should, you should, you know. But Calm Vibes is cool. I mean, you know, I'm, <laughs> I'm chill all yeah. the time. So, that's what I do. And, but uh, I like both sides of the, of the facets later, of the production. <laughs> later, I've, uh, experienced with a genre called hard bass okay uh, i've uh, found the russian youtuber i don't know if i can uh, say his name sure if you know it he, uh, if you know it uh, shout him out he is a really famous youtuber called uh, life of boris <laughs> okay yeah it, it might be helpful to somebody uh, else so for sure um uh, helps you mainly help. he does uh, lifestyle stuff uh -huh. but uh, he really loves Russian hard bass okay and uh, when I found uh, his channel after a few months I fell in love with that genre <laughs> yeah yeah and uh, I wanted to experience in that genre as well yeah. And uh, that was the reason why I made my first EP called Bass But Hard. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's a it's like a mimic shout out, of huh? hard bass. <laughs> That's a mimic of hard bass. Uh, I see. It also has my own style. That's really nice, you know, man. That, uh, rhythmic uh, metalcore drum beats and symphonic vibes as well. Okay. So uh, when is this? Uh, when are you gonna let us know? Let us know more about this next album you have in the works. You gonna let us know well, the Discord? I'm uh, continuously working on it during right. streams. Or, uh, sorry, uh, did you mean the Beast album? Your newest one that you, uh, the next one you're working on, that's in production right oh, now. Uh, yeah, I am mainly. Uh, do it on stream okay so we can tune in on I, live uh, streams yes <laughs> get my bits uh, ready I, all right uh i want to involve the my viewers as well that's great man that's so uh, great not just having fun with composing but having fun with uh, uh keeping in touch with the viewers yeah. or the listeners. with your community yeah exactly yeah like me you know like i'm part of your community so you know like you engaging with me and talking to me is is important because you know um, the yeah. <laughs> the engagement matters for everybody every person that's there chilling or watching and hanging out and uh you know i like that about you man i like that you're very down to earth and you're willing to talk to everybody and talk about your process uh, I also hope in the future maybe you'll do some uh, maybe some tutorials explaining how you uh, create your uh, bases for like your your style because I do believe that would be interesting especially if you're using a free plugin to do this uh, maybe some short in the future maybe not now you know but something in the future mm -hmm. to kind of demonstrate for the uh, audience because it, it could be value I'm a music producer so I would find value from it personally even though it's in another uh, genre I had some thoughts about it and uh, mm -hmm. I didn't think about it that I should not so <laughs> there's a hope that I will do it eventually uh, okay well I look forward to it. you better do it emo <laughs> I'm, I want you to do it because I'm gonna follow your tutorial and I'm gonna make my own base following your tutorial so you better do it right 
because I'm going to follow it. And I'm going to be like, Emo, I made a base using your, your tutorial, and it sounds like this. What do I do? So you got you to put on your little worker hat and like, all right, Safer. Look, man. Look. <laughs> <laughs> Learn how to EQ, all right? No, I'm playing. <laughs> all right, Emo. Well, I'm not going to hold you up, man. I'm going to let you go. Uh, just some final oh, words have... that oh, you want to shout out time. here before we get off of this. Go ahead. I have plenty of time, so we can talk about yeah, yeah, I don't. More. So uh, go ahead and fin go ahead <laughs> and right. shout out what you need to shout so, out so we can keep going. New album will be released on the 1st of okay. July this year. It's called Beast. It's basically a glitch hop uh, album. I All didn't right. stop at dubstep. I wanted to experience with glitches as well. So okay. it's a glitch hop album. <laughs> so your new glitch hop album beasts yes all right man july 1st and uh you'll be streaming your live productions on your twitch so twitch.tv slash is it emo 0226 is that correct yes it is okay and uh any other special places for people to follow and support you um, uh you're on twitter looks I like i sometimes tweet on twitter okay uh that name is hard to I see it right here. We can copy English and paste it. Yeah. Speakers. I see it right uh, there. We have it on the screen. That's my, okay. that's my real name and uh, the Orion, the constellation. And you have a Patreon and a PayPal. Okay, cool. Well, hey, man, yes, but, what, tell me a little bit about your Patreon. What's your Patreon about? Uh, that's just about if somebody wants to pro, uh, help my work, promote me, every month with monthly payment they have a platform to do oh, uh, oh okay. i connected uh, to my discord server so it will give some perks as well such as private like rooms this. or uh, oh you have oh so yeah i like this yes this is good okay good yeah, so guys, check out Emos on Patreon uh, and see if you can maybe afford to support my man here. This is awesome. So yeah, man, we're going to hop off of here, Emo. Uh, thank you so much for coming, first of all, and hanging out with me on the podcast, my brother. I'm going to go take care of other stuff because life calls still. But we will be back yeah. again, man. I want to talk to you some more. Tell me more about what you got going on in your world. So don't be a stranger, man. Keep posting what you got going on in the Discord. Uh, much love to you, my brother, and I look forward to your album on the 1st of July. Uh, uh, I will check it out. Be sure you announce it, though. Let me know in case I forget. I'm a forgetful person, so keep me motivated to listen to it as well. And uh, much love, my brother, all right? I I will all inform right, man. you about that. I really and appreciate I, it, man. I, I really hope that you will enjoy it. <laughs> I, I have no doubts, man, for sure, for sure. All right, Emo, I'm going to let you go. We'll catch you later. Bye. All right. Bye-bye. All righty. That is it for the podcast episode with me and Emo. He does have his album dropping on the 1st of July. We talked about it a couple of times, but he is an awesome, awesome, awesome individual. Uh, that was just a short blip about, you know, who he is as a person. And we will get him back on and talk to him some more about just who, what he does because he is a really cool dude. And he also streams on Twitch. So be sure you follow him on Twitch. Uh, and check him out. Uh, he's also on his Discord. So any of that nature, showing love and support to artists, it's a it's a great thing to do. Uh, you don't have to do like be there all the time, but maybe just a follow on their channel, a follow on their Twitter, you know, something like that. It could it could help them get to their next level in what they're doing. So massive thanks again, guys, and I will catch you all on the next one. Thank you for hanging and chilling with the breeze.